They say one of the greatest regrets in life is not living up to your potential. Good thing for me, I'm not down with that. tonight so sit back relax and welcome to the cmu what's going on ladies and gentlemen i am your host jay cruz and you're tuning in to the cmu listen i switched it up on you i didn't drop the whistle song maybe we'll drop it later on the show but welcome to the show <coughs> i am your host Jay Cruz. And listen, we already got almost 30 people here early. So what I want you to do tonight, because we are having a show, but I want to know for all my brothers in the audience that have a beard, let us know what company is taking care of your beard. And for the ladies, if you're using some of that oil for your hair, please share. But if you're wearing a, a particular perfume, hey, listen, ain't nothing wrong with that as well. So please let us know down below in the chat. Welcome to the show. I am Jay Cruz. And listen, Ellie, I'm sipping on some uh, some coffee. If you want to let us know what you're sipping on as well. Let's see. We got Vato in the building early. Come on, DJ. DJ, listen. Give me something a little bit more. Give me something. Okay. Now, give me. Now, come on. Now. All right, just give me that, DJ. Let's go. We're going to rock out with this. Ladies and gentlemen, early, we got Jedi in the building. Woo! What happened there? Oh, man, what happened here? We got Conholio on the uh, on the comment section. What it do, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the show. I am your host, <laughs> Jay Cruz. What up, what up, what up, what up? Okay, uh, it's always something. We got Michael in the building early, good to see ya. Who else? Robert Allen is in the building. My sister Becky's here. John Fox is in the building. Nano's in the building. Ellie's in the building. Real quick, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it be known. What was the best thing you ate? I'm not talking about healthiest, but what is the best thing you ate yesterday? at uh, celebrating labor day cookout did you go to a cookout did you go to a restaurant i mean i don't know if it was open but what was the best thing on your plate yesterday taste wise if mo the bearded shark was here he would say deviled eggs he would say deviled eggs but let's see what the people in the chat are saying shout out to johnny grooms michael zarati who else uh, aloha ken is in the building warren good to see you we got Justin in the building. Who else? Brother Saad as well. Brother Saad, Brother Saad, I actually re-uploaded our podcast clip 
on my other YouTube channel and something people were commenting on it. You should, I'm, I'm gonna send you a link later to go see it. Who else is in here? Liz, good to see you. It's been a while. Good to see you. I hope you, the whole family, everyone's good, healthy. Say hello to Sam and everyone over there on that side. Of course, we got Justin. We got Twitch in the building. Good to see you. Nano's in the building. All right, so let's see what, what the companies are tonight. In my particular beard, tonight I am rocking. You ready for this? Beard Octane. I'm rocking some Beard Octane. Be on the lookout for something tomorrow. Be on the lookout for something tomorrow. We got the official again, uh, Magic City, Wes Y, Elite Grooming, Dr. Nix, Fable. What up, what up, what up? And listen, ladies and gentlemen, we got coffee, but we're going to do some live reactions in a little bit here as well. Uh, it says fragile and I have it upside down, so hopefully it's not an issue. But thank you for everyone being here tonight. We're going to get the show started. Everyone, the regulars are coming in, the family, the CMU. We got Tyson in the building. Good to see you. Mike and his whole family. Who else is in here? Healthy McCray. Health McCray. Ribs. Okay. Now, for everyone in the chat that likes ribs, type in the word, which one do you fall in? Dry rub or sauce? Dry rub or sauce? When it comes to ribs, when it comes to ribs, dry rub or sauce. Let, let's see what the people are saying in the chat. Pizza. Okay. Deer steaks. Now, John Fox, don't laugh at me, but my mom actually had some the other day. Some deer. Um, I hope, I don't think it was one around here because we don't really have them like that, but maybe a couple of towns over. Oh, I don't know where they got them from. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Steak with quinoa, avocado, and lime juice. Nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ruddy man, there you go. Okay, okay. Shout out to OG Rob coming in the building. Good to see you, Ray, good to see you. Dry rub? A lot of people are picking dry rub, huh? Both. Beef sauce. Dry rub. Really? Okay. If you can hear the fan, let me know. Uh, both, okay. Okay. All right, bet, 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 bet. All right sauce okay i bet cheesesteak quesadilla well ladies and gentlemen how many of you give me a thumbs up if you're done with the summertime if you're done already with summertime you're ready for the fall uh, i've been asking people what is their favorite time of year a lot of people are saying fall and spring i don't think a lot of people like the winter anymore unless you live up in maine uh, I don't know if John Fox, is, if that's a if that's a true statement, uh, but fall is here. I think fall is here. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for that. I put a poll in the chat, right? Because when fall comes, bro, there's certain things that come with it, right? What are some of them, right? We know that one of them is, of course, in the fall, certain holidays happen, right? Uh, Thanksgiving, we got Halloween and there's a whole debate. Uh, last year, I think Halloween fell on... No, on Halloween, we didn't have a show. I was with Beard Octane that night on their stream. But not only that, not only that, with the fall here, we have the infamous pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, right? We got pumpkin spice. So I asked people in the chat. I asked them, with the fall being here, are you more for apple cider? Which one is more like up your alley? Apple cider, hot chocolate, pumpkin spice, and respectfully none. So here's what everyone in the chat said. Apple cider is number one. I mean, 37%, I'm sorry, 37% said apple cider. The next said hot chocolate. All right, so we have hot chocolate. I'm surprised. I, I would have thought a lot more people like pumpkin spice, but we have, you know, Ken, he's one of those strange people that likes it. But give me a thumbs up if you're excited for college football, back in motion, college football, the NFL. Give me a thumbs up if you have a favorite team, college or pro. Let us know down what, uh, below what it is. All I know is that Clemson got rocked last night and Duke pulled the upset. So let us know if you do have or maybe a alma mater. Is that what you call it? I'm not 100% sure. But either way, let's get right into the show. Give me a thumbs up. If you ever heard of this company, Sphinx uh, Fragrances. Now, 
from what I understand, this company is also a beard company. So they have Sphinx beard products, right? Sphinx beard and grooming, but they also have a fragrance line. What I want to know, give me a thumbs up if you've ever heard of this company before, because we're going to be doing a live unboxing and live reaction on some of their products here that I have with me. And I'm really excited because some of them are so what do I say? It's it, it's something that I wouldn't expect in a cologne. It's not something that I would expect in a fragrance. So I'm really excited to try some of these. So let's see what the people are saying in the chat. Uh, go Irish. So that's Notre Dame. Let me see if I can guess some of these. New England Patriots. I already know that one. Okay. Hold on. Patriots. Patriots. Okay. Uh, Ravens. Baylor. Okay. Green Bay. I'm sorry about that, Warren. Uh, I I'm just joking. We got a lot of Green Bay fans in the in the audience. Ho, oh, ladies and gentlemen, you guys got to understand something about me. Deion Sanders is one of my favorite people. I'm not, I'm like his content. Like I was legit happy for him, for him and every, like they beat TCU, bro. I, d I didn't. And then, oh, snap. What happened to my screen? What happened to my screen? What happened to my screen? Okay. Hold on. Uh-oh, we got a little bit of technical difficulties. Hold on, I'm gonna get it through. I'm gonna get it through. I'm gonna get it through. Okay, there you go. So I don't know if you guys saw that game, but that was a crazy game. We got Buckeyes. That's Ohio State in the building. I have used Fink's Beard Oil before. Okay. Florida Fragrance Guy says some of those Fink's fragrances are fire. Anybody else? Showtime. Uh, that's an amazing game. Go, yeah, go pack go. Uh, Coach Prime, you're right, 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 you're right. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, I want to know, give me a quick grade, right? From F being not the best to A being ecstatic, what was the grade for Labor Day? What did you do? Better scratch that. What did you guys do for Labor Day yesterday? Let us know down below in the chat. What was your Labor Day like? Did you go fishing? Did you go to Culver's? And I'm speaking to Tyson from Copper John's. Did you get to spend time with the family? Did you just chill at home? But yesterday was Monday and it was Labor Day. So I got to hang out with some family over some activities and friends. But what about you guys? How was your Labor Day? What did you do? We got 41 people in the chat. Please hit a like if you're here tonight. Let's go. <clears throat> Work. Okay. You give it a B, John Fox. I rock with it. D, okay, I rock with it. Uh, two, uh, two cookies left. Yeah, these people, these wonderful people, Ken, uh, Scott, Michael, they got to meet together. I think it was for breakfast. I'm a little jelly on that one. I'm a little jelly, okay? Played Xbox, classic. Respect, okay. Well, listen, I want to just, hey, listen, can I share something with you guys? Can I share something with you? Like, it's a, like, I feel like everyone in the chat that's here tonight, um, you guys have been seeing me for some time now. You guys love the show. You guys come and support. Uh, I think it's a great time, especially on Tuesdays. We just come together and just have a good time. But I'm really excited because I'm going back to boxing. Come on. I'm going back to boxing in three weeks. In, no, two to three weeks, I'm starting my boxing classes up again, the training and so forth. So I'm really excited for that. If you have anything you're looking forward to in the fall, let us know down below what it is for you. And uh, shout out to Brother Saad because he dropped a really good post uh, about uh, fighters. And I think it was a post on Oscar de la Hoya. And uh, but yeah, it was really cool. So either way, uh, if you have anything you're looking forward to in the month uh, in, in the fall, please let us know. This is the CMU, the community meetup. But I'm excited, bro to get back into boxing. I'll tell you that much. You know, I love Don DeMarco drops. Yeah, for sure. Well, look, and one thing I will say, another thing is Beanie Seasy, Beanie Season is upon us. Shout out to Maddie Conrad who made this amazing hat. I love wearing this hat, man. For sure. Uh, any updates on new episodes of Crew Control this year? Yeah, for sure. So it's funny you say that uh, because I have Thursday, next Thursday, I have a scheduled interview. Uh, I'm going to be putting information about that because what I want to start doing too 
is putting um, video podcasts. Let me know down below. Do you guys prefer audio podcasts or video podcasts? Because what I want to do is on Wednesday still drop the audio and then maybe on Thursday or Friday drop the video. But it won't be on this channel. It'll be on a separate channel. But next week, I already have one guest uh, for that. So let me know down below, audio or video, which, which, which style of podcast is more up your alley. But I appreciate you for doing that. Yeah, exactly, right? Shout out to everyone in the chat. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into this because I'm sweating and I think I had a little bit too much coffee. Uh, hi from Brazil. Do you have a review about Great Before Shave? First of all, let's give it up for Brazil in the house. Let's give it up for Brazil. Wait, now listen. Um, I had a co-worker that knew how to speak a little bit of Portuguese. No, he knew how to speak a lot of Portuguese. Uh, so let me try. Uh, bon dia. Bon dia. Uh, uh, but I do not. I do not have one for gray before shave. Uh, but I will later on in the next couple of months. Video podcast, video podcast, video, video. Okay, okay. That's a great idea for audio, uh, then video podcast, J. Cruz. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. It's a lot of editing, but we're gonna get that. Bon dia, there you go. You see, I know, I know. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here tonight. Everyone, please give love to our brother. Uh, I'm assuming first time here at the show, all the way from Brazil. That's really cool. Thank you for being here tonight. Let's clap it up. Okay. I have an announcement later on in the show, but ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the unboxing because we do have a couple of different topics about this. Now, I want to know, just, just bear with me, E-Rock, okay? Just bear with me. And also, Michael Zarati, just fall back a little bit. This is my question to you. Yes or no? Do you wear cologne? Yes or no? Do you wear cologne? Yes or no? Let us know. Let's see what the people in the chat say. Let's go. Let's see what the people in the chat are saying. Oh, listen, and thank you. Shout out to Mark Brown with the super chat. <laughs> Healthy crew, smash thumbs up. Video podcast. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for your contribution uh, to the YouTube channel. Listen. And I appreciate the contribution. Hey, listen, guys, consider joining uh, the membership if you would like to support the channel on that level. Uh, what I want to do is be able to use some of those resources to do unboxings from different industries and so forth and make the show a little bit better. But if not, no worries, but consider it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely. Okay. OG is actually OG was one of the ones that put me on. Uh, no. Yes. 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 Yes, I wear cologne. Yes, I got a collection. Yes, no, no. Yes, I do. But after my weather beard went on Kent. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So you're going to enjoy that one. Uh, let me know what you got. Uh, not really, but I did receive a beard scent cologne recently. So I'm going to. Okay, well, here's the thing, right? I got to give a big shout out to OG Rob and what's uh, Barbara Joe because they're the ones that put me back up on. Um, getting into the cologne game. Now, for me, a cologne, bro, and I, I'm pretty sure OG Rob will agree with me, it's really an experience. How many of you in the chat, yes or no, will sometimes grab a beard oil and just smell it? Just for, for whatever reason, right? You just want to lift up your spirits a little bit and you go to your favorite Beard Octane product. You go to your favorite Copper John's product, your Detroit uh, you know, all these different companies, there's a certain aroma about that that just makes you feel good, puts a smile on your face, reminds you of something special. Am I the only one? Yes or no? Do you do that with some of your beard products? Maybe you grab your favorite beard butter from Weatherbeer Supply Company. You know what I mean? Maybe it's that and you just smell that aroma and it makes you feel good. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, I asked this last week, and I think it's it's pretty cool. What beard product will you be using tonight to go to bed to? What beard product will you be using? From what company? Let us know down below. I'm going to pick one live, so I'm going to pick...
You know what? We going Detroit grooming tonight. We going old school, bro. But let's see what the people are saying in the chat. Yep, I do that. Yeah, for sure. All three were nice. Nice. Yeah, that's another brand. Yep. Okay. Often. Yes, I do. <coughs> I do it all the time. Oh, man. Listen, I haven't tried those guys in a hot minute, but back in the day, back in the day, uh, Lemon Delight by Define. I, I keep hearing about that. Ken, always, Ken and I always talk about it. Uh, he always talks about it. He says really good things about it. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to revert to Ken and say that it's Ken says it's really good. Uh, I spent two hours smelling uh, smelling colognes and beard oil, oils. I'll do it all again. Uh, Define beard company beard butter. OK, Copper John Sundance. Define deep blue. Octane butter. You need to sell with that again for sure. For sure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. We're going to be doing this live reaction. Uh, it's part of the show. We started on Instagram doing live reactions, uh, and we're bringing that back. We've been we've been doing it for a while now, and uh, I'm excited because this is the first installment of Fragrances. Now, here's what we're going to do in a couple of weeks, and I, the, the membership for the channel, they knew about this a couple of weeks ago. In two weeks, we're going to be doing a live reaction show. You ready for this, OG Rob? On coffee. <laughs> I'm not going to say the brand name right now, but we're going to have multiple products from a company. We're going to brew it live. We're going to brew these coffees live and do a taste test on all of these during the show. And I'm going to kind of give it a grade. So if you kind of like that idea, give me a thumbs up. I'm, I'm going to have to clean the whole desk, but shout out to emo in the chat. Shout out to everyone coming in here. Uh, thank you for being here. Honest Amish heavy duty. Honest Amish was one of those companies that really surprised me, bro. Uh, just because I hadn't tried them before and I I heard good things about them, but I never tried them and, and they're pretty solid, man. They're a good company. The oil that I tried for sure. So here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited about the very first one. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. We're going to this is Sphinx fragrances.com. Uh, the owner's name is Muhammad. Muhammad didn't know that we we're going to have the show tonight. Uh, maybe he'll stop by in the chat, but if not, we're going to keep it rocking. Uh, I'm excited for this part because I love doing reactions. Uh, sometimes it's for scent. Sometimes it's for trying different things. I learned my lesson, uh, I think like three months ago. Did you, were you guys hear that episode where we tried? I think it was salsa and ice cream in the same night. Holy, I was hurting the next day. I was hurting. I was hurting, bro. Woo! I was hurting. So let's get right into it. Let's go to the first one. And before we do these live reactions, I have one more question. We are going to be talking about colognes. We are going to be talking about scent profiles. I kind of know some people in the chat's preference when it comes to scent profile, but give me two specific scent profiles that if you see them on a cologne or you see them in a beard oil or you see them in a candle, they automatically call your name. I'm telling you right now, because Ken's in the chat, I know one of his is going to be leather. Same thing with emo. I already know for OG Rob, one of his preferences is going to be Tonka Bean. That's one of his. I already know uh, for Ben Taff, it's going to be smoke. But what about for you guys? Give me two scent profiles that when you see them on a beard oil or maybe a cologne or maybe even a candle, maybe a bar of soap, they automatically catch your eye. Let's see. I want to see what the people in the chat are saying. I want to see what the people in the chat are saying. You see, I think I don't remember these things, man. I remember. I tell you, I have a lot of fun when I get people to reach out to me about scent profiles with beard products, because that's kind of, I like that lane. I like the, the knowing the sexy vibes for the beard products. That's my, I like that lane. I like that lane. Leather and citrus, okay. Uh, tobacco, citron, vanilla, okay. A blueberry and oud, vetiver and musk, and amber, okay, okay. Oud, musk, uh, musk and tobacco, bourbon and sandalwood, 
Ooh, Bayram is tricky for me, brother Saad. I, I'm not the biggest. I don't enjoy it as much. I don't enjoy it as much. Um, black licorice I, TV. I can't do black licorice like that. I, for me, it's not. Leather. Leather has been something that I've come to appreciate a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to join the leather heads yet, but a little bit I've come to enjoy it. Uh, shout out to Rick's uh, Smoke and Amber. Listen, make sure you hit a like on tonight's show if you haven't. Amber, Oud, and Musk. Okay. Patchouli or roses? Leather, any wood. Okay. Deep blue is sexy, Jay. Okay. Uh, Oud, Musk, leather. Okay. Vanilla, tobacco, earthy scents. Leather and vanilla. Tobacco and Oud and Amber, bergamot. Bearded Vato loves bergamot. Loves bergamot. Anything oud and amber, oud and amber, frankincense and leather, orange blossom and lemon. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, so listen, let's get into it. I wanna show you the very first one I have here. Guys, when I saw this on the website, and Ken, if you can, can you put the Sphinx um, website in the chat for the fragrances? Guys, when I saw this, hold on, let me, oh, do I have it here for, for Becky? Oh, I don't have it here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. This one's for Becky. Uh, when I saw this on the website, I knew I had to have it. I knew I had to get it. And uh, let me show you the first one right here. So this is from Sphinx Fragrances. One second, one second. Okay. Here we go to the first one. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever is taking the pictures for this company, their graphic designer is a beast. Let me show you the first one. So this one is called Orchata. De van vanilla, right? That's vanilla, but I think it's Spanish. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but give me a thumbs up if you've ever drank horchata, if you ever had to drink horchata. But I saw this on their website and I said, I need that in my life. Now, let me tell you something. They have a couple of different uh, options. They have a 10 ml, which is their travel size, what I have. And that's $20. And then they have, hold on. They have 100 ml, 100 ml for about $110. Now, one thing I will tell you, if you are someone that's a little bit on a budget, uh, having multiple colognes, fragrances is very pricey. And part of me always thinks to myself like, ugh, like I could use this to like, you know, buy more equipment or different like stuff for editing or, you know, I don't know. Uh, invest more on like the channel with some stuff and uh so i'm always like uh but i know that it, it can be pricey at times so if you're able to enjoy it enjoy it so oh look at this <laughs> becky said i'm drinking orchata right now okay there you go there you go okay okay you have okay you've drinking that before all right all right there you go. I like the smell of it. I don't like the drink. Okay. Uh, I love horchata. Horchata is one of my favorite drinks. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Good to see you. Not <laughs> nice. Okay, wait. The horchata is amazing. That cinnamon hit. So if some people don't know exactly what it is, I just found a little, little quick <clears throat> breakdown of what it is, man. Uh, hold on. There you go. So basically, this is a popular drink that's like from uh, Latin America and like Spanish cultures. Now, people, depending on what part of where you get it from, either like if you get it from Mexico or Central uh, America, there's going to be a different of coloring of color of the drink. But it's a combination of almond, tiger nuts, water, sweet, uh, sweetened with sugar and spices. It's a really good beverage to drink in the summertime. Uh, very refreshing, but this company decided to make a fragrance based on this drink. So here's the thing. I'm going to show you, uh, and I'm going to give credit to this creator because uh, obviously I don't own the rights to this content. This is for, um, uh, what, what's the thing? There's a term in YouTube that they use for being able to do reactions with this. But this is all, make sure you go check out this YouTube account. Uh, lovely uh, young lady. She's going to be breaking down how to make horchata. So let's see how they make this particular drink. Hey everyone, my name is Karina. Today let's make a delicious horchata. For this recipe, I left soaking overnight one cup of rice, 
with one cinnamon stick and one and a half cups of water. I'm gonna add it to the blender. To that, we're also gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract, along with one can of evaporated milk and one can of sweetened condensed milk. And now we blend. Now we're gonna strain the mixture into the pitcher. And last, we add an additional four cups of water. Give it a mix. For garnish, I'm gonna add some lechera to the rim of our cup and some pecans. We add some ice and now we pour. We sprinkle a little cinnamon and we garnish with the cinnamon stick. And there you have it, delicious horchata. Give me a thumbs up if you would try this type of drink. Beard Wiley, you're hilarious. I saw your comment. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you would try this type of drink. Oh, nice. Beard Vato said that's how we make it. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, look, it's time for me. What up, Medina? It's time for me to, to give a reaction. Now, I feel a little bit like shout out to JP. Uh, shout out to uh, what's the name? Justin Copeland. Uh, shout out to Cubana Nose. Great content creators in the fragrance world. Uh, I was supposed to have Justin Copeland on my YouTube channel, uh, but our schedules got a little conflicted, but he is going to eventually come on the show. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to have Justin Copeland on the show. Uh, one of the big content creators in the fragrance world. Uh, very cool dude. Very cool dude. Uh, shout out to Robert Flores with the super chat. Hold on. Yeah, the Marco. Marco. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. All right, let's get it going. Gamer, good to see you. Sounds good. That's a cheesecake drink. There you go. Oh, I can only imagine. So let's do let, let, let's do the unboxing right quick. Let's do this unboxing. Uh, let me get right into it. Shout out to Becky. I always do like, you know, get closer. But hold on. Hold on. Hold on. OK, everyone can hear me still. So this is this is the package and I only have 10 ml, 10 ml. I've, and I say, OK, so here we are. Uh oh. Hopefully they ain't spill or cracked open. But look, I got my little uh these uh strips. Guys, whenever you get colognes, even from beard companies, uh when you when you spray it on your skin, uh give it a couple of seconds like to get that some of that alcohol uh aroma out of there, right? You gotta let it kind of dry down uh before you really get the experience of it. And OG Rob will tell you. As time goes by, your body warms up that that fragrance, the chemistry of your body. Bro, fragrances can take you through an experience like no other, bro. So here we go. This is the packaging. Came pretty standard, right? It, uh, bubble wrap and in this way right here. I don't do dairy. I'm pretty sure you could do it with almond oil as well. I mean, on him, almond oil, almond butter, almond milk, almond milk. You know what's funny? I read somewhere that you can't call it almond milk because it's not actual milk. That's why some companies call it almond drink or almond water, something like that. So here's the package and they sent over a little sample. So let me show you real quick. They sent over a nice little other sample. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is Finks right here. That's their logo. That's the sample. So that's the sample of something else. We're going to leave that to the side. So here we go. And here we got. And for and for God's sakes, don't rub the fragrance at all. A lot of people in the past, what they would do is they would spray it and they would go like this. No, give your time and your body to kind of warm that fragrance up. So here we go. <laughs> Let me see. So I'm looking for I'm assuming this. This is it, right? So. Uh, this is the orchata. What do they call these OG Rob? These are called what decanters? What do they call it? This has a particular name, but here we go. This is it from uh, Sphinx fragrances. And let me show you right quick. So before we do the smell test, this is how they describe their particular scent. Okay. This is their fragrance. <clears throat> the mouthwatering scent of cinnamon and sweet vanilla intermingles with the creaminess of rice to create an irresistible aroma that will leave you wanting more. Orchata is the perfect blend of spicy and sweet notes that will awaken your taste buds and take your sensory journey 
you won't forget. On a sensory journey, you won't forget. All right, so here we go. Here we go. There we go. There no, wrong one. Come on, Cruz. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna check this one out. Okay, so it's a it's a twist. I look like it look like a like a, a lipstick almost. You feel me? All right, so here we go. I got my spray. I got my little uh my 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 to strip, and you can buy these guys. OG Rob will tell you you can buy these on Amazon. I think like a pack of 250 of these is like maybe like 15 dollars, but. That way you don't always have to spray everything on your skin if you just want to smell something then and there. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is horchata, right? This is the one from Sphinx I'm trying out right now. So here we go. Let's do this live. And let's see how this comes out. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so here we go. All right, here we go to spray. Let's see how it sprays out. All right. All right, get, give me a second. All right, here we go. I'm gonna let that spray a little bit. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Shout out to Josh, thank you for being here tonight. Hey, listen, if you do have a cologne that you like to wear right now, currently, what's your favorite cologne to wear right now? What's your current cologne of choice right now? And maybe it's from a beard company. You know, uh, what companies have colognes right now in the beard game? Is it just Weatherbeard right now? Weatherbeard, Copper, Johns, and what else? I may be wrong. What up, J-Mo? What up, Stu? All right. <laughs> yo yo bro this is yo this is yummy damn this is yummy yo bro i'm gonna tell you something i don't think this is something that you wear to go to a party but this is something you wear in an intimate setting, you feel me? Like if you with your girlfriend, maybe it's Netflix and chill. Maybe it's day night with the wifey. Oh my God. Ooh, the, yo, the almond. Think of, think of someone grabbing uh, a bunch of almonds together and they, what's that? Not the blowtorch, but they kind of like, it, it's a, it's a, it's a pile of almonds and someone just hits it with a blowtorch. And then you have that aroma of the almonds just going up in the air, bro. That sweetness is like, oh, it's it, it's 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 milk. It's milk, but not like um, not like milk and honey, but definitely milk and cinnamon. Oh, I like this one, bro. Oh, bearded Mac for sure. My fault. Shut up. <laughs> My fault, my fault. Nah, this is nice, bro. I rock with it. Okay, so look, I rock with this one right here. All right, this one I like. Dang, this is nice. Hold on, let me give it another spray. OG Rob, this one's a little gem, bro. I like this one. Yo, and right up front. I like this. This is nice. Uh, I have dupes of Aventus Oud, Wood, and Driftwood. Also have 1 million uh, Paco Roban. So the most, uh, I guess my most, my favorite one so far that I own is Chanel Platinum Eagle West. That's like the most, like my number one fragrance. Now the number one fragrance, GDT, hey man, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what my favorite cologne in the world is, but I haven't bought it yet. I haven't bought it yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that for my birthday or for like, or for like Christmas. Uh, my favorite cologne in the world right now is from the House of Killian, and it's called Sacred Wood. 
It is a sandalwood with like a coconut milk. Bro, I'm telling you. Nah, but guys, this is very nice. It's very, again, I get a lot of almond. I get a lot of almond in this. Almond and the sweetness of the milk with cinnamon. The, 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 the sweetness of the milk, right? The, 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 the sugary, that's more towards the end. So if anything, it's almond, cinnamon, then sweetness. I like it. I like it. I really like this one and I'm happy I have it. So this one is like, I don't want to call it like J. Cruz approved, but I rock with this one. This one is definitely more for the intimate setting, guys. I think your partner would appreciate this one because it, it's very sweet, but <clears throat> it's not sweet like uh, like maple syrup or any of those things. It's like the nice amount of aroma of like almonds and then that cinnamon, bro. I like it. I like it. Uh, Fable also has colognes. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place tonight. I, 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 there's a lot of companies, I guess, in the beard game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. And this one is kind of fun for me. Uh, so we did we did this one. Orcha, uh, Orchata de Vanilla. Uh, I want to talk about this one right here. This one is called Date Night. Uh, no, this one is called First Date. I'm sorry. First Date. And listen to the listen to the scent profile, right? And this one got a lot of reviews on their on their page. And this is citrus, right? It has a burst of citrus with warm caramel accord, a a touch of cedar, uh, cashmere wood, musk, amberisk, and here we go for OG Rob and tonka bean brings it into an exotic allure. So this is sexy, sophisticated, and mass appealing. Uh, I want to ask people for this real quick quick question, right? Um, for all of you in the chat, man, that are married, right? Maybe you're married or your current girlfriend. Uh, can you let us know what was your first date? Where did that take place? Now, I know some of you have already answered. I feel like everyone uh, know Ken's and male story but as far as for you guys uh what was where did you go for your first date with your with your wife your partner uh let us know down below in the chat because i'm about to try first date from sphinx fragrances uh and i'm interested right now i really like the orch uh, the orchata of uh, uh cologne uh very nice very well done and we're gonna come back to it later on because scents can sometimes uh change over time right so here we go here we go i want to ask the people in the chat let's see what the people in the chat say what was your first date with your partner your wife your current uh girlfriend let us know down below in the chat i'm trying to see which one hold on Let's see what the people want. Yep, I knew that one. First was a movie, uh, dinner and hung out all night. There you go. Uh, this one sounds dope. We went to see Life of Brian and not Brian from Beards and Banjos. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, fancy restaurant in Greater Michigan on her birthday. Nice. Uh, I lost count how many dates I've been in. They, there you go. Sherry and I went line dancing. Bro, if someone can find that tape of OG Rob line dancing, that will go viral on TikTok. We need that. We need that. Let's see what other people are saying in the chat. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So listen, let's go to the next one. Now, I will say this. Unfortunately, these don't these don't have these don't have the 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 label or the scent of of which one is which so i kind of wish it was different i wish it had a label to say hey this is uh this is you know day night and this one is the other one we're going to talk about so i really don't know which one is which which i mean this one i could tell right the pink with the horchata but uh let's see let's see i don't know now <laughs> okay and i wanted to spray the paper so let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this right quick. 
So let's do the date night. Hold on, hold on. Twist up the top, grab it, and it, no, 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 I did that. But I'm saying as far as like to tell me which one is which. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it doesn't have it on here. That's the only thing. All right. Here we go. Remember, guys, please, when you put. Hold up, my G. Hold up. Hold up. This one is very clean. I like this a lot. I think this one is first date, bro. Hmm. It reminds me of like I don't smell any caramel, though. If you pull the glass, smart guy right there. Smart guy right there. <laughs> You're smart, yep. That's the only thing. Any smooth Tonka bean in the back? Yo, what I get mostly now, this is going to sound a little crazy. What I get mostly from this, I get like a clean, sophisticated scent. I don't get any caramel. So like they were talking about it, but I think in the beginning, you know how they were talking about a citrus, that cleanness, that cleanliness, sophisticated vibe is the citrus note. So let me spray this again. Hold on. Nah, this is it. Nope, I got a different one. What the frick? How did I? Hold on. Give me a second, because now I'm confused. Hold on. Oh, no, I'm nose blind a little bit. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> People say you can drink, co like you can smell coffee beans to help you kind of get with the nose blind. Yeah. Okay, this is not that. This is the date night. This is it. This has a little bit of sweetness to it. And it's all oh, this is cashmere. Bro, what was that beard product from the bearded Mac that used to have cashmere in it? Revolutionary Mac, this reminds me of that aroma of the cashmere. Yes, bro. This is cashmere. I've smelled that particular scent profile before, bro. Hold on. This is this is first date, right? Yes, this is it, bro. OG Rob, this reminds me very cashmere forward, bro. I like this, though. Now, let me tell you something. I think this is definitely more cashmere forward is definitely more on the um, what's the word masculine vibe. I think it's a little bit more for a mature individual. I'm like if I'm not mature, but I'm just saying. Yeah, this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cashmere It's cashmere. I've smelled this before. So it's sophisticated cashmere. I like it. Well, I, what I think this is something that like someone that's a little bit older, they'll reach for for first date. I think that's something more up there, Ali. But yeah, it's masculine. I get cashmere a lot uh, and it's definitely sophisticated. Those are kind of the vibes that I get the caramel note. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> I don't get much car caramel is it? People say it's caramel, but it's caramel. 
I like it, but again, it's definitely not something that I would reach more for. Uh, I like more of the cleaner, dapper type scents, but this is nice. I will say that. Uh, someone asked a question in the chat about, hey, JP, good to see you. Uh, someone asked a question about how to wear like beard products and fragrances together. Um, the easiest qu answer for that, in my opinion, is give it, like get unscented beard products. Uh, I have a video on my YouTube channel that shows how you can actually wear them together. So if you go to you, if you go to my YouTube channel after the show, look for the video that says beard products and colognes together. And I give you about three different ways that I do it. And it's helped me to really just enjoy that you can't do both. I, I am a testament that I do use both. Uh, so I get to enjoy both of them. So there's that. Okay. Now let's talk about this one. This one is, and look at the image quality for this, right? Shout out to Tommy. Shout out to Mo in the chat. This is the image quality of, of this, right? Whoever's taking their pictures, who's ever like taking care of their products, man. This is an amazing, amazing picture. But this is Black Anibus. I, am I saying that correctly? Anibus? Give me a thumbs up if I'm saying that correctly. Black Anibus. But this is uh, intriguing Black Anibus. Our fragrance is a true masterpiece crafted from the finest ingredients to provide a complex and captivating scent. But let me show you this right here. Uh, this is definitely, it says masculine combined with woozy and musky notes. Uh, unique uh, saffron bergamot. Yes, this is it. OG Rob. So I kind of already like, unfortunately, because I didn't check. I already smelled this one. So I'm going to say this right here. This one right here is up my alley. This is clean. This is dapper. And I, this one is, is a home run for me out of all of these. This is probably my number one. Okay. This one for real. It is just very clean. This is in my opinion. Now, I don't know if Muhammad sees this. I would wear black Anibus as my date night fragrance of choice. It's clean, it's sophisticated. You get those notes of like a little bit of like the citrus, but the saffron plays a role into it. It gives it kind of choppy sounding cruise. Am I having issues with my mic? Let me know. Am I having issues with my mic? Someone. Hello, hello. How about now? How about now? Everything's good? I'm good? All right, guys. Yeah, I know how I am with this tech stuff sometimes. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, Black Anibis for me out of these three, this is my number one. So, we have the, the citrus of the bergamot, and it is a little woodsy. Guys, this is my number one. I really enjoy Black Anibus so far out of all of them. So for me, it's Black Anibus or Chata. And then date night is number three. First date is number three. Uh, this one is definitely, uh, it's a nice fragrance. Uh, I, I can definitely pick up the cashmere. It's ridiculous. Like that is the strongest note in my opinion for this particular one, but it's definitely more mature. Uh, so first date uh, is my number three, but I like black cannabis. I like the bergamot. It really stands out. Uh, it gives you a little bit of like clean vibes as well. Uh, I really enjoy this one. So black cannabis is my number one from this company, followed by number two, the Orchata, which is really good as well. And then we got first date. But I want to ask the people in the audience, uh, based on what we showed here tonight, which one of these three uh, would you be most likely interested in trying? Let us know down below. Let us know down below. Out of these three, which three, uh, which one would you be interested in trying? Let us know down below in the chat. So we got OG Rob saying that he would want to try Hey, what's up, Gary? A uh, black anabis for short. Sure. Yeah, this one, this one is very nice, bro. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I like this one. I like this one a lot. 
I like this one a lot. But then again, Bergamon, if you guys see that, that's something that catches my eye. Uh, Orchata, shout out to Lorenzo. Uh, Black Anubis. Okay, there you go. Black Anubis. Orchata de Vanilla. Okay, there you go. Black Anubis. What other ones? What other ones down below? Let us know. Let us know. Anubis for sure. Okay. For sure, for sure. Okay. Well, look, ladies and gentlemen, if you if any of these ever catch your eyes, go check out sphinxfragrances.com. Obviously, this is something that I have to like get on my skin, uh, wear for multiple hours and get it going from there. Um, I want to ask something. We, we talked about uh, day night as well. And I wanted to ask one last question to everyone in the chat. Uh, I don't know if Becky can answer this. Maybe OG Rob can. Uh, but when I was talking about date night, you know, everyone's at a different age or stage in their life. But what does a perfect date night look like for you right now? Like what's something you and your partner would enjoy doing now? Maybe it's not going out to a fancy restaurant. Maybe it's literally going fishing. Maybe it's literally just going to the bowling alley. Maybe it's going to the bookstore. But right now, what is a perfect date night, date night look like for you? Uh, let us know down below in the chat what that looks like for you. Let's see it. All right. First date, Mel and I at a Dockside Lake Restaurant. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that yo, that's a gem. Cooking together and then watching a movie together. That is very nice. I like that. I'm old, but I like all good sense. There you go. Uh, sitting on my deck on a cool night. There you go. There you go. It involves a lot. Of <laughs> oh man. Oh man. A beer house with no kids and some chill TV with some app, some adult time. There you go. There you go. Hey, someone watch for, watch out for Stu. Shout out to my brother, Chris. <laughs> uh, for me, it's about a shooting range, burgers, brewery, and maybe a movie. Guys, listen, I don't drink anymore, um, but I remember uh, when I went to a, a brewery, it was really cool because they, they had like this. What are they? Me and Vato, Vato has explained this to me like 10,000 times. The whole IPA thing. But we went to a brewery one time. Uh, it was my friend's wedding and I had a date and we were, um, she was our mutual friend. So we went together, me and my date. And uh, we ended up going to a brewery. And what they did was, it was really cool. They would bring you like six different beers, I guess. Um, and some of them were very sour like sour and i guess people like sour beers i'm not a you know i don't drink but uh yeah so there's a whole thing but i like the idea of a brewery i like the idea of that i think that's pretty cool i guess like you get to experience that uh getting a cookout and then sitting on the waterfront sunset i i just want to smoke drink and to some <laughs> Oh my God, my brother Ken, man. Ken, boss, man. Oh, I drink. Okay. Uh, perfect day night watching movies or listening to music while playing video games. Nice. I'm from the West Coast originally, but New England IPAs are king for me. Okay. Uh, beer flights. Okay. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So there's such thing as sour beer? That don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, I will do this one day. I hope to go. If I ever get to vid, shout out to my brother, Steven. Uh, if I ever get to visit Ireland, I would love to dr try a Guinness. I've never tried a Guinness, but I just, I think it would be a cool experience. Like beer flights are really nice. Okay. 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 Cocktails. Okay. Okay. Uh, has a top brewery popping. Okay. I have sour. Oh, speaking of speaking of beers, my brother Shaky in the building, ladies and gentlemen, clap it up for Shaky. <laughs> well, listen. Tonight we got through the show. There was a couple of technical difficulties. The show, uh, but guys, listen. I'm gonna say this right quick. Um, 
everyone for the month of September, make sure that you not you guys are checking in on people. Um, it's Suicide Prevention Month, um, and uh, that is a that is a topic that's very close to me. Um, I've uh, I've helped a lot of people um, when I was working in the mental health field with that, uh, and it's a uh, it's it's a dark it's a dark thing, man. When people go through that, man. So please be kind to people. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, but shout out to everyone in the chat tonight. Maybe we'll talk about that later on at a different show. But thank you for everyone coming out here. You see what I mean? Hello? Okay. Uh, real quick, before we get out of here, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back here next Tuesday. Uh, I should have everything going, you know, better, better set. I don't know what's going on with my equipment and the whole thing today. But ladies and gentlemen... I want you to be here next week. Give me, type in the word Mac if you are a Bearded Mac fan, uh, because next week is going to be a moment that we've been practicing, rehearsing, and what I mean by that is going through the process next week, next week. My Bearded Mac collab comes out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, me and Chris have worked on this collab for over six months, over six months, going back and forth, running ideas off of each other. Bearded Mac is a leg, like the real deal. You know, those guys have some of the best beard oils in the game and their scent profiles are like unquestionable. So I knew that if I was going to work with the Beat and Mac on this collab, we had to bring some fire. So far, everyone really likes the, the collabs I've been able to be fortunate to be part of with different companies. But I always try to go with my personal like choice and also something that can help the brothers out there. And shout out to my brother, J-Mo, if he's still watching. I don't know if he's still a bachelor, but you feel me? You got to get something nice to help you with the alley oop sometimes. So ladies and gentlemen, a quick preview of next week's collab. So listen, that is next week. Be here. I'll be putting some promo out on this video next week, but the Bearded Mac, Lights Out Mac, releasing next week on the CMU. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show off a little bit. We were able to even get Chris, you ready for this? To make it into a cologne. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Jay Cruz. I hope to see you here next week, Tuesday, Bearded Mac release. And I ask you, if you see the info and you want to share it, I'd be appreciated. All right, guys, have a good night. And we'll see you guys next week for another episode of the CMU. Love you guys. Take care.